What's going on guys, John Elder here from Konami.com and in this video, I want to talk about the importance of journaling with Python. Alright guys, in the last episode we talked about version control with Git and pushing our code up to GitHub. In this video, I want to take a step back and talk about the importance of journaling when learning Python. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee at just $27, which is insanely cheap. So, okay, journaling and Python, what in the world am I talking about? Well, this is not really a Python thing. This is more an education thing, a learning thing. And I find that I've taught a lot of people to code online, hundreds of thousands of people over the years, and how you learn to code varies from person to person. But I find for myself, the best way to learn is to write stuff down because you're learning by watching videos. It's easy to sit there and watch a video and go, oh yeah, I understand that. And then you go on and watch the next video and you go, oh yeah, I understand that. And then you go on and watch the next video. and then weeks later, days later, even hours later, you go to actually do the thing and you forget. Now, wait, what was that? What, what were the data types again? What, how, how do you, do you put a colon there? What? And you forget. And then what do you do? Do you go back and watch the video? Which video was it on? Was it at the middle of the video? Is it a 20 minute video? Do you have to watch the whole thing? It's just hard. So I always recommend that you create a journal for each programming language that you're going to learn. And I mean a dedicated journal. So some people keep a notebook, right? That's fine, but you're going to lose that notebook. You're going to throw it away. You're going to misplace it. Uh, you know, you're just going to forget about it. So I like to have an actual journal book. You know, journaling is pop popular and uh, it, it's just what people do. Luckily, I have one for sale. Ah, this you can get at Amazon. This is, I don't know, 100 and 60 odd pages it is paperback has a very nice picture of me on the back and this is a dedicated python programming journal and all this is is just a completely blank book right and you think am i really suggesting that you go buy a blank book yes i am and it's not crazy because you will keep this right you will put this on your bookshelf or on your mantle or on your desk in your drawer and you'll have this and you'll be able to flip through it when you need something. So later on when we learn how to do more advanced things like loops, there's many different loops you can use. You can just flip to the loop page and just read what you have. And it's much better than trying to go back and find the video that we do on loops, watching the whole thing for 20 minutes. You could flip to it like this in like 10 seconds. So what I suggest you do is take the first few pages and you can see, I've, I've already done this for you. This is a table of contents and it's one, two, three, four pages long. And anytime you make an entry into your journal, you can see that each of the pages of the journal have page numbers. So if you're on page 34 and you write about loops, at the top of page 34, you write loops and then you write the syntax for the loop and then any little notes that you might have, right? And then you take that page 34, go back to the table of contents, and on the next available open line, you write loops and then the page number, 34 or whatever. So then in the future, when you need to look something up, you just come to your table of contents, you flip through it, you find loops, oh, it's on page 34, you flip over to page 34, and boom, you've got it. So it's just, it's good for a couple of reasons. now. It's not just me, it's not just you. All humans learn better by repetition. So repetition one, watch the video. Repetition two, write it in your journal. Repetition three, look it up in the journal. This is how you learn things. This is how you memorize things over time. You do not learn things by watching a video one time. You just don't, you're, you're not gonna remember everything. You know, you, sure, you can write it down on a piece of paper, you're gonna lose that paper. You can write it down on just a normal notebook that you buy from the you know grocery store or something from Walmart. You're going to lose that. It's just a, a faceless notebook. But this, this is an actual book. This is a cool thing. After you finish filling it, 
it's yours. You've built it. You've created it. And it's special. It's it's cool. You like you can flip through it and find things and you'll use this for years and years. I have been programming since I was eight years old. I started coding when I was eight. I learned uh, basic programming, the basic computer programming language on a Commodore 64 computer. I still have the notes that I took when I learned that myself. What would that be? Eight years old. I'm 41. So 30, whatever years ago, 33 years ago, something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. I still have that. And sure, I don't look up those notes anymore because the basic programming language is no longer relevant. But, you know, I have notes from when I first learned Ruby on Rails that I still uh, reference to this day. And I wrote a book on Ruby on Rails. It was the number one best selling book on Ruby on Rails on Amazon in the Ruby on Rails category for a long time. And I still look back on my notes because I'm a human, because we don't remember things that great. And to be able to flip through, find the note and go, oh yeah, that's how you do that is just immeasurably worthwhile. It's just, you know, it helps you so much. And to have a nice like pre-printed one that says Python on it, it's just a nice touch I find. Now, like I said, I published this book you can find it on Amazon. Go to Amazon and just search for Python Elder, or you can go to this link. I'll put it in the script in the description below this video. And you can see it is a little pricey, 27 bucks. But you know, this is programming. You're gonna use this thing forever. You want it to be a, you know, you want it to stand up to time. You want it not to fall apart. And uh that's just, you know. A pizza costs 27 bucks. Come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's all this is. It is just, it looks like I purchased a copy of this. Huh, that's weird. I don't know why I would have done that. But anyway, it's just a nice thing to have. And it's going to help you learn. It just will. So what I recommend doing as you follow along with these videos in this course, jot notes after each video. While you're watching the video, pause the video, write it down. You know, for the, the data type section. You know, I would write down the different, probably not strings and numbers, but I would write down, I would create a page on lists. And then I would create a page on dictionaries. And then for dictionaries, I would just write this on the page. And then maybe a couple of notes. For the notes for the dictionary, I would say something like, a dictionary is made up of key value pairs. Key is the first, the first one, value is the second one. And then I might draw a line from key up to, for instance, John, and I might circle John so that I know that's the key. And then I might draw a line to this one and circle it and write value, key value pairs. That's what you need to remember. Then also, you know, how to access these. I would write that down, you know, so you remember. Now, these are very simple things, but until you memorize them, you're going to have to flip back and look at this thing. And you do not want to search around the Internet looking for some video and then watching the 20 minute video to find one little snippet of code to remember how to do a dictionary. You just it's a waste of time. It's going to drive you crazy. But if you got your handy dandy little book, you can just flip it to the dictionary page and go, oh, yeah, that's how you do that. So, you know, sure, I'm selling these things and I'd like you to buy mine. But if you don't buy mine, Go out and get a stupid notebook and do, do it in the notebook. Do the same thing. Create your own table of contents in the first few pages of the notebook. And then just, you know, as you write a new page, number them at the bottom yourself. It's going to be sloppy, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And I just, I highly recommend, I cannot recommend it enough to keep notes, keep them in something that you'll keep forever because you will look back on it. It's just, it's just very important. And it just helps you learn. Bottom line, just helps you learn. And that's why we're here, right? So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.